Hello and welcome, JNM here with a new Blender tutorial for beginners. And this one is a modeling tip for snapping and merging vertices. I start with the default cube, then I go to edit mode and press W to subdivide it one time. Then I move this vertex here upwards by pressing the G key. And then you can see that the vertices at the edges are not connected to the one that we moved. Perhaps you want to do this. So what you could do is to press K to use the knife tool to connect these two vertices. But just perhaps you don't hit the last vertex correctly and this could lead to something like this. Okay, we cut these edges and now we have to make one vertex out of three and I will show you two methods to do this. The first one is the complicated one. I will enable the snapping tool for this and I set the snapping to vertices. Ok, and now I have this vertex selected, press G to move it and I snap to the vertex that I moved in the beginning. And the same thing I do for the second vertex and now it looks like as if we have joined all these vertices to one, but actually we have three vertices that share the same position. That's not a good geometry, but can be easily resolved. I select all the vertices, then I search for remove doubles. And after that we have one vertex where we had three. So we merged these vertices, but isn't there a merge function? Yes, it is. So I pressed Ctrl Z, undo a couple of times to come back to this bad geometry to show you another way to correct it. So let's select these three vertices, but it's important that the last vertex that we select is the one to that we want to merge. Then I press Alt and M, this opens the Merge pop-up menu and here I select At Last. So that's a faster way to merge these vertices and here's another tip, if you want to connect two vertices, don't use the knife tool. It's better to select the two vertices that you want to connect and then you press J. Ok, the last thing that I want to show you is how to bring this vertex that we merged to the center by using snapping to the grid. Again, I enable snapping and choose increment and also enable absolute grid snap. Now I'm sure that the vertex when I move it will snap exactly to the grid lines. I know that the experienced Blender users are familiar with these features but I get many requests if I could create more beginner tutorials for Blender. If you'd like to see more of this stuff, then please add this to the comments below. And if you want to support this channel, don't forget to subscribe and consider being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.